Hello, can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Okay, good. Yes, good evening. Hi. Hi, teacher. How are you? How was your day today? Uh, a little bit tired. I was working with a budget for a possible project all day. Oh, yeah. You are an uh, electrician, you said, right? Uh, yeah, I, I work with, uh, with my brother in electrical projects. Oh, okay. It's your brother, by any chance, is his name Jose or Roberto? No. No. Okay. So how are you? How was your day, Evaristo? Good evening, teacher. My day, it, it was good. It was good. Uh, I'm really tired, but I'm ready to, to learn English. Good. What about you, Jose? Hi, teacher. I'm fine. Thank you. Today, I, I took a, a class a class of the fires, fires in the world to use the extintores. Okay, fire extinguishers. Yes. Why, why, why did you do that? In your job or, or what? Yes, it's in my job. It's uh, to the, to the group, to the brigadistas. Okay. Uh, where do you work? In, uh, in the warehouse of Nestle. Yeah, I remember, but okay, it was like, okay. Yes, I, okay. So it was like a security course. Yeah, it's, there are security courses. Oh, okay. And, and, and we are volunteers to the, the courses. With a fire extinguisher, okay, good. Where are the ladies today? Did you watch a Barcelona game today? I watched it the last of the game. It was a, a nice game. I didn't the... watch it. I'm going to watch it tonight. I mean, I know who won, but I'm going to watch it tonight. Yeah. 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 I uh, oh, I saw only uh, a few minutes in the, in the last time, an extra time. <laughs> well, okay. Okay. Hello, Moises. How was your day today, sir? Hello, teacher. Hello, classmates. Uh, I I I don't understand the question, teacher. But what? Well, how was your day today? Uh, okay. Uh, well, my, my day, uh, I think that was normal. Uh, I have two lessons, one, one training, and, and that's all. Uh, I am preparing, a, what is the word for a, a presentation, a, a, una ponencia. How do you say it? What is una ponencia? Una exposición, una ponencia para... An exposition. An, one exposition. And that's all. My day uh, really, really easy today. Oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, thank you. Okay, um, we're going to start the grammar, so I'm going to share my screen. Let me see if we can see it. I was reading the news, it's incredible. Like the politics never stop.
Can you hear? So how were you like when you were young? Yes, yes. That was the video we did yesterday, so. So listen, knowledge check, match the clauses with appropriate information, okay? Choose the Teacher, best answer, yes. I have a question about the before video. I don't know if, if this is the correct, before video. The fourth. Okay, the fourth. This one? Yes, about this. Uh, in, the, in the last part of the video, she says that we have to write. Okay, listen. What's the, the, For me. the point? For the first the, time. Uh, I I don't understand if we have to write in the in the commentary box, or we don't have to do anything in this. Oh no, because um, I I rather ask you. Remember that I asked everyone to tell me a story about your past. Okay. Instead of writing it, yes. So it's okay. Thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so. It says here, look, it's instructions, match the clauses with appropriate information. Choose the best answers. By the time I was 15, what do you think is the best answer here? What do you think is the best part here? By the time I was 15, It could be, it could be uh, by the time I was 15, uh, I have learned how to take care of myself. It could be. Okay. Anyone else? I think that uh, I realized that I wasn't a child anymore. Okay, let's, let's try it. So by the time I was 15, I didn't appreciate my own country. I began to understand the value of money. I learned how to communicate. I realized I wasn't a child anymore. Okay, let's try that. Okay, number two, until I started working part-time. Hello, class. Can you hear me? Somebody, please say something. Yes. Uh, okay. That it could, could be, I began to understand the value of money. Yeah, because maybe because it's saying working, right? Okay, let's do it. So until I started working part-time, I began to understand the value of money. Teacher, I have another uh, answer. I think that it is, uh, I have never saved any money. Okay. So let's do this one first. And if it's wrong, it's going to be this one, of course, then. I have never saved money, okay? So we're going to leave, I began to understand the value of money. Maybe it's wrong, maybe it's not. The moment I got my first paycheck. In this case, I, I, I have the, the, the other uh, answer. I began to understand the value of money. Yes, okay, it's true. So until I started working part-time, I have never saved money, okay. Number four, as soon as I left home, what happened, Jose? Uh, Mariano. Let me see. <clears throat> I think that is number four. I realized that I wasn't a child anymore, but we choose the same answer in number one. with people and I had learned to take care I had learned to how to take care of myself no I think that is the number uh, the answer number four
but okay. But we we choose the same answer in the number one. Oh yes. But the time I was fifteen. I think the number one is um uh, I if it's something I, I have never saved any money any money. I had never saved any money. I, I think that that okay, is a good let's choice. Try that. Let's try that. Okay, number five. Once I started sharing an apartment. I learned how to get along better with people. Okay. Yeah. After I began a relationship. I learned how Learn. to communicate better. Okay. Before I traveled abroad, abroad, sorry. I didn't appreciate my own country. Until I got really sick. I haven't understood the, the importance of good health. The last one. Yes. Okay, let's see if they are all correct. Hmm. Saying Some... the number one. The number one is wrong. Hey. So what do you think number one is? Number one is, I have learned how to take care of myself. Yes, I have learned how to take care of myself. Let's submit, let's see. Okay, good, we got them all. Okay, next, it has, uh, there's a listening exercise. Three people describe important events in their lives. Choose what was the turning point for each. Do you understand what is turning point? Uh, in Spanish? Something made you, um, made you change. Yes. Yes, I was like this, but I changed. What was the turning point? So um, let's listen to this conversation and listen to Sally, Henry, and Debbie. Page 74, exercise four, listening. Important events. Part A. Listen to three people describe important events in their lives. Complete the chart. 1. Sally. One thing that was really a turning point for me was when I learned Spanish. I was always kind of scared of learning a foreign language, yet I was really envious of kids who could speak another language. But when I started learning Spanish, I found I was actually pretty good at it. And the moment I reached that breakthrough stage, you know, when you discover you can actually speak and communicate with people in the language, I felt really proud of myself. I realized that learning a foreign language wasn't an impossible thing after all. Now I can speak three, Spanish, Italian, and German. And I'm taking Korean this year. Wow. Two, Henry. I'm a twin, and my twin brother and I have always been very close. We always did everything together, and we were never apart for any time at all until we were 18. Then we went to different colleges in different towns, and that was the first time we had ever really had to cope on our own. I think it was good in a way because we both became more confident and independent. Until then, 
I had always had my brother to depend on whenever I ran into a problem. But once I went away to college, I realized I was actually capable of working things out on my own. 3. Debbie I guess I was always pretty shy in school, and I didn't share a lot of things with people, not even with my parents. Then one time it was awards day at school. I didn't think I was getting any prizes or anything, and neither did my parents. So we were all pretty surprised when the principal announced that I was the top student in my class. Afterward, I didn't think too much about it, but then people suddenly started treating me differently. You know, I think some of the kids in school started looking up to me, and I became a lot more outgoing after that. Page 74. Exercise 4. Part B. Listen again. What do these three people have in common? Wait, we're going to hear that one later. So, what was Sally's turning point? She learned Spanish. She learned Spanish. What was Henry's turning point? He and his brother went to different college. Yes, he went to a different college. Good. What was Debbie's turning point? She was the top student in her class. All right. Let's listen to the second part, Sally, Henry, and Debbie. But this time, listen to the audio again and choose how it affected him or her. One, Sally. One thing that was really a turning point for me was when I learned Spanish. I was always kind of scared of learning a foreign language. Yet, I was really envious of kids who could speak another language. But when I started learning Spanish, I found I was actually pretty good at it. And the moment I reached that breakthrough stage, you know, when you discover you can actually speak and communicate with people in the language, I felt really proud of myself. I realized that learning a foreign language wasn't an impossible thing after all. Now I can speak three, Spanish, Italian, and German. And I'm taking Korean this year. Two, Henry. I'm a twin, and my twin brother and I have always been very close. We always did everything together, and we were never apart for any time at all until we were 18. Then we went to different colleges in different towns, and that was the first time we had ever really had to cope on our own. I think it was good in a way, because we both became more confident and independent. Until then, I had always had my brother to depend on whenever I ran into a problem. But once I went away to college, I realized I was actually capable of working things out on my own. 3. Debbie I guess I was always pretty shy in school and I didn't share a lot of things with people, not even with my parents. Then one time it was awards day at school. I didn't think I was getting any prizes or anything, and neither did my parents. So we were all pretty surprised when the principal announced that I was the top student in my class. Afterward, I didn't think too much about it, but then people suddenly started treating me differently. You know, I think some of the kids in school started looking up to me, and I became a lot more outgoing after that. Okay, so what was Henry's turning? Um, I'm sorry. Sally. Yes, so how did this affect Sally? Felt proud of. Felt proud of. Proud of. Do you notice the expression, feel proud of? Yes, I think. Moises, you, you as a teacher, I imagine you say that. Sorry, you as a teacher, I imagine you tell your students, hey, I feel proud of you. Yes, yes. Uh, in this case, it's like uh, feel, uh, sentirse orgulloso. 
de sí mismo. Yes. yes. That would be I feel proud of. Okay, next. What about Henry? Became more confident and independent. Independent. And independent. What about mm -hmm. Debbie? Became a lot of more out going. Became, Became a lot, lot more, more out going. Outgoing. Outgoing. Do you know what is outgoing? Going now? <laughs> Mm. Oh, yes. no, I think uh, it's the. You... Go ahead, go ahead. You can be a serious person, and the contrary of serious is outgoing. Yes, uh, Debbie was uh, shiny. She's sad. Teacher. Yes. First, good evening, everyone. Um, outgoing, it seems like an extroverted person. Yes, outgoing is a person that will talk in parties, is always, ah, hello, you know, outgoing. Okay. It's the, it's the contrary you. of very serious. So people can say, hmm, Gabriela seems very serious. Oh, yes, yeah, she is very serious. Or, People say, hey, Gabriela seems outgoing. And people say, yeah, she's cool. She's very outgoing. Okay, thank you. Okay, let's submit and let's see. Okay, they're all correct. Let's see the next one. Listen, in this class, participants will learn adjectives for discussing behaviors and personality. Do you know what is an adjective? Yes, the adjective describes a noun. Yes, an adjective describes a noun. An adjective describes a person or an object. Okay. San Miguel is hot. What is the adjective? Hot. hot. Good. Okay, let's listen to this video, please. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm, I'm sorry, I thought we froze. My computer froze for a moment. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. Can you hear me? Yes. Yes, teacher. Really, I saw you. I saw everybody not moving. So, okay. <laughs> okay, so here we go. Uh, an adjective. An adjective describes a person or a noun, right? Okay, let's listen to this. We're about to study some adjectives which will help you talk about behavior and personality. Ambitious, argumentative, carefree, conscientious, naive, pragmatic, rebellious, sensible, sophisticated. Can you tell us how you behaved in your teens, in your 20s? How do you behave now? Try to be as honest as possible. Okay, let's do this. Let's use some adjectives. How are you now? Uh, let me see. Moises. Uh, I Moises, have... imagine I ask your girlfriend, I ask your girlfriend, hey, how is Moises? What do you think she will say? Uh, she will say that I am, that I am a, a carefree man. I am uh, relaxed in these days. Okay. What about her? How is she? Uh, 
well, I think that all women are all women are complicated. In some moments, they have one type of, of emotion, and and one hour later, they have another mood. Uh, and it's true, but. Uh, to say something about my girl, I could say that she is uh, peaceful. Okay, she's very peaceful. Very good. Yeah. What about you, Jose? Imagine I ask Jose Ramirez, if I ask your mother, how are you? What, what would she say? Okay, I, I think that uh, she said, uh, says that uh, I was... Uh, very shine and no but how are you now now i i am uh confrontative and uh, i think i am a little ambitious in my in my goals to the future i think okay okay good good what about you gabriela gabriela you you're not married correct no, I'm single. No. Okay, but do you have a boyfriend? No. Or a pretender? Yes. <laughs> okay, so imagine I ask your pretender, hey pretender, how is Gabriela? What would he say? Mm. Be honest. <laughs> <laughs> uh. I don't know. Mm, maybe. Gabriela is very jealous. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm a joker. Okay. Um, impatient. You are impatient. Bit, yeah, impatient. Yes. And and a little and um, a little angry. Oh man. <laughs> That's dangerous. <laughs> Impatient and angry. Uh, oh. <laughs> I know. <laughs> okay. Um, describe, Evadisto, describe. Describe El Salvador. El Salvador. El Salvador um, has a. Uh, um, Using adjectives. Okay. Uh, good people. No. You know, and beautiful place, places. Beautiful beaches. Okay, good. But you see, by continuar con beautiful, beautiful beaches, beautiful mountains, beautiful people, beautiful food. Let me change, no, let me change but remember, no. Yeah, no. <laughs> Describe El Salvador. El Salvador is small. It's small. It's hot. Uh, yeah, it's, it's, there is a uh, different weather. Really? Yeah, in the uh, mountain mountain part, you no, know, like it's it's like a uh, uh, it's cold in some part, you know. Okay. Uh, in San Miguel, especially in San Miguel, it's hot. Oh, the oh it's bar. horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> it's very yeah. hot. Uh, I, I live in San Miguel. And so in this I'm moment, you live in San Miguel? Yes, actually, I live in San, in San Miguel. Oh, and man. It's very, very hot. Yes. All, all day and all night. Yes, in San Miguel, accidentally, I was becoming an alcoholic. You? Yes. <laughs> no, but the reason why, because I worked in San Miguel for two years. And I remember when I finished working at six in the afternoon or something, I always went to this taqueria, El Paisa. I, I don't know if it still exists. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So every night I ate dinner in El Paisa. Mm -hmm. But really, people, it was so hot that I said, ah, can you give me a beer? Yeah, and the beer was so, so, so cold oh, that you drink, and then you feel the, the air like, 
and said, oh my God, one more, please, one more. So every day I was drinking maybe three or four beers. And I said, okay, wait a minute. No, I am becoming an alcoholic. <laughs> yeah, wow. so I changed but, beer for chata. But you had a, you had a lot of options. <laughs> Why you choose? Oh, yeah. Beer. Yeah. yeah. Because when I saw the beer in the glass, and you see it very, very cold, mm -hmm. I said, oh, I want that. I want one. Because it's not because of the beer. It was because it's so hot. Mm -hmm. You know, and when, when you drink it, like, and beer is good. I mean, so I only, but every day I was when drinking four. When you control the... You know, like one, two, three. Oh yes. I am. I like I like beer every now and then. I like whiskey and tequila. But I don't drink. I mean, I imagine this. I have a little little bottle of tequila mm -hmm. for two weeks in my house. Okay. So sometimes I just take like like that's it. Just for sleep. <laughs> yes, just just for yeah, for something. But before no, before I used to drink a lot. When I was young. So yeah, San Miguel is very hot. Teacher, yes. Have you ever tried to show to uh, trago, no sé, Shot? shots of whiskey? The, uh, just for sleep yes very good <laughs> yes like but sips do you know what is a zip uh, this, uh, yes the, the thing that you used to uh, no no but it's sortable ah okay okay yes uh so sometimes i i i i, I serve a whiskey and by sips okay you know one one glass and if it's good like that because I don't like wine. Ah, okay. I don't know. Uh, wine is ugly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So good. That's how you describe, you know. Can you describe? Can you describe? Um, can you describe? Neutralmente, the president of El Salvador. I mean, if you compare the president of El Salvador to other presidents, can you describe what is something adjective about the president of El Salvador? He's an, an excellent, an excellent person. Okay, he's an excellent person or he is young. Yeah. Uh, a man with a high leadership. He's he an uh, intelligent person. He's an intelligent person. He's very skinny. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and tall, a little tall. Is he I tall? I, I, I never, is he tall or normal? Uh, I think he's normal. I think he's normal. <laughs> but he's, he, he is, uh, he's, he's uh, how do you say, the no fat, uh, skinny. <laughs> Okay, no, skinny is seco. Thin yeah. is delgado. Thin, yeah. If he, if he is skin, and he looks a little more tall. He, look, he looks tall, yes, yeah, it's true. Yes, I think he is a smart man. Yeah, he's very smart. And, and he has a, a easy... Is he to talk to talk people <laughs> and say and say that the people uh, the people want to hear. <laughs> yes, he has power of convincement. Yeah. Okay, good. Now listen to the next part. Here it says. In lesson 1.8, it says, by the end of this class, participants will learn to understand and practice 
expressing regrets in hypothetical situations with should have and past participle. Okay, uh, let's see, let's see more about this. Should you have learned English before? Stay and learn how to express regrets and describe hypothetical situations. Page 75, exercise eight, grammar focus. Expressing regret and describing hypothetical situations. Expressing regret. I should have studied something more practical when I was in college. I shouldn't have waited so long to choose a major. Describing hypothetical situations. If I'd been more ambitious in college, I could have learned another language. If I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have my own apartment now. When we want to express regrets, we need to follow the rule. Subject plus should have plus past participle. It's important for you to know that we use should have to speculate about or imagine things that did or didn't happen. For example, I should have paid attention to what I ate as a kid. When you want to describe a hypothetical situation, we need to use this rule. If plus subject plus had plus past participle, comma, subject plus could or would have plus past participle. Notice the use of could or would have shows what didn't happen. For example, if I hadn't wasted so much money last year, I would have bought my own apartment. In other words, I didn't buy the house because I had no money. Can you put yourself in the following hypothetical situations? Write them on our discussion box. Okay, we're going to talk about a regret and a hypothetical situation, okay? Let me tell you one. Let me tell you one, and this is true. A long time ago, I had a girlfriend and she asked me to marry her and I said, no. And now she's very famous and she's on TV. And she has her business. I should have said yes. <laughs> That's my regret. No, I don't, I don't regret it. I'm very happy. But no, but it's an example. Like, you know, when I see her on TV, I'm like, I should have said yes. Okay, do you have a, not, um, I remember a long time ago, I was working in this job and they offered me to go to Europe. And I was very young, I was maybe 23. And I said, no, I don't know why I said no, because I was single, everything like normal. I always think I said, I should have said yes. Maybe by this time I am living in, in, in Europe or something. Yes, can you tell me uh, Gabriela, can you tell me a past regret you have? Mm. Three years ago. My pretender said, asked me to be his girlfriend and I said no. <laughs> no, I'm joking. Okay, three years ago. Go ahead. Three years ago, uh, my uncle and his wife like, go to live to Spain. Went and to live they, to uh, Spain. Went to live to Spain. Okay. And they and they asked me if if I want to 
went with there. Mm -hmm. And I say, no. Mm. I should that was have. A mistake. Okay, so I, I should, should have said yes. I should have said yes. Okay, because great. they live very well in Spain. Oh, man. And why did you say <laughs> no? Mm. Please don't tell me you had a boyfriend. <laughs> no, no, okay. no, 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 no. No, no, no. Mm. Uh, mm, I don't want to get along my my mom and my sister. You wanted to, or you, or you didn't? No, no quería dejarlas solas. Oh, I didn't want to live alone. Okay, I didn't want to live alone. Yeah. Okay. That was the reason. Mm -hmm. And now your sister is in Spain. <laughs> oh, yes, and I'm crying. <laughs> your sister is in Spain now? No, my sister, no, but my cousins, yes. Oh, okay. So they live better. They stay in and have a, a better health than me. Of course, I imagine. Yeah. All right, what about you, Jose Mariano? Give us a past regret you have. Well, when I was 15, I used to play at the soccer school for a, a well-known soccer team here in El Salvador. Mm -hmm. And uh, I received a grant to study high school and I left the soccer and started to, to study high school. And I think sometimes I think that I should have continued playing soccer. <laughs> Maybe okay, yeah, I became yeah. a, a famous player. Yeah. What team? Luis Angel Firpo. Uh, so you were 15 and you were playing for Firpo? See, si? right. <laughs> yes. How old yeah. are you? How old are you? And I, I, and I, I am 39. So 39. So this was what? Um, 10, 15 years. 1996. Oh man, so you, that was the, the Melo Castro Franco. Viajar uh, Cecil Fuego. Yo entrenaba go. I, I was training with that, that team. Oh my God, the super Firpo, man. And at, at least four times, I, I was in the fifth, fifth level. We played with the mayor team at least four or five times. What happened One, to? Castro Franco, remember him? Uh, yeah, but I don't remember what happened with with him. Once we lose a game against Firpo, 22-4. <laughs> I scored two goals against uh, La Carla and Rivera. Wow. I, 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 got a, I got a foul uh, from Giovanni Trigueros and Carcamo Watchers too. Wow, those were the, the Milovan. Mm, uh, Kirill, Kirill Dotsinovsky was the, the manager. Oh, okay. No, no, no. But uh, all those players, they were with Milovan when he was in the national team, right? In the national team. Actually, I played for the national team for for at least three months. For the sub-15 when... or the national national team? No, you 15 but you are not a super cipote. I <laughs> know. Okay. And, and I, I played also for Metapan. Okay. Yeah, so I, I, I see your regret. You say, hmm, I should have continued. <laughs> Maybe I could play in the MLS. Yeah, mm -hmm. because playing in El Salvador is a, is a window. Yeah. Oh, interesting. But uh, what about you, Evaristo? Evaristo, tell us a regret you have, sir. Yeah, I have a, I have a regret. When I was in Texas, I were uh, like a truck driver. Okay. And in the company, you know, the owners, they 
they offer me uh, to to run my own business with my own truck, and and I said no, and now I I should I should have <laughs> I should have um said yes yes <laughs> very good I should have said yes. Oh man, regrets, regrets. Moises, tell us a regret you have. Uh, hello, uh, this is a, a hard situation for me because I don't have any regrets. I think, teacher, I was talking, I was thinking about this in this moment that my classmates uh, are, are, was talking, were talking about uh, their experience and and I uh, get that that I don't have any regrets in my life. Wow, that's that's very good. If you don't have any regrets, that's I maybe, envy you. Maybe I I I not uh, remember all the things that uh, have passed in my life, but uh, in this moment I can tell one of, of this situation. Okay. Um, sometimes it's not necessarily in your life. Sometimes it could be something today. Like imagine, imagine, okay. Today I ate two chori hot dogs and I shouldn't have eaten them. <laughs> well, uh, because uh, my stomach is maybe something very, very simple, uh, not uh, so important as as all of you uh, says uh, one one time one uh, uh, I I was going to EPA to buy I don't know a, a brush una 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 brocha yeah brush brush a brush and and I have to to turn in in the Boulevard de los Proceres, and it was a, a big traffic. The thing is that in in those uh, 300, 300 meters, I stay like two hours in traffic. That is yeah. a regret. I I should I shouldn't <laughs> uh, have to go. Have to go. I shouldn't have gone. I've gone, yes. Wow, well, look. Very that, simple. That's very simple. Yeah, you know, that's a good example. Like, yes. like what happened in the elections? Look at Rodolfo Parker, man. <laughs> uh, I don't know, but in this. Uh, Rodolfo Parker should have. Yes, yes. I think all the politicians, they should have just be quiet. Quiet, yes. But because they talk too much, people, like, the two Parkers, they're crazy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, have you noticed that all the ones that talk, 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 fuera. <laughs> yeah, so maybe now, now they're maybe saying, Híjole, I should have shut up. <laughs> it, it is a good example for, for all of us to, to keep our, our mouth uh, quiet. <laughs> yes. Yes, and be a little bit more intelligent. Like, if you like Bukele or not, but there is an effect of Bukele. And if you see 90 or 95% of people in favor of Bukele, don't talk bad. At least be a good hypocrite. Don't talk bad. Don't talk. They don't know they stupid people i was i was i was listening to an interview today somebody from fmln they are they are demanding the handle they are demanding the fodes para entregar bien las alcaldías <laughs> they gonna sell the money you know, it's like, oh my God, these people. 
yeah, like Bukera is going to say, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, tome. Here's the 10, 11 months here. They yes. have to do the last play. Yes. It's historical. All right, Jose Ramirez, give us an example of something you regret. Okay. Uh, if I should have treat to, to be so honest in my word, uh, some some years ago, uh, my my coworker maybe continue working in that place. Uh, because I'm sorry, uh, I, I don't understand. Yeah, yeah, I, I think it's, uh, I, I don't have the, the correct form. Because uh, I, I am treated to say that uh, 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 one time, uh, once, once I, I talk in my work when I began to work in, in that place where I, where I, where I am now, mm -hmm. and I talk with the, the height uh, buses in, the, in that place because I saw some, some things that are not uh, good. And uh, I, I, I was uh, treating really honest and I talk, but uh, the fact uh, I think is uh, affected un poco. Uh, affected a little? Affected a little to uh, a uh, co worker because uh, there was a, a lot of change and he, and he was uh, fired. Despedido. Fired. Yeah. Uh, yeah. That uh, I was threatened to say it. So, what do you regret? Yeah, if I should. Uh, if I shouldn't have treated, to be honest, my, I yes? Yeah, I shouldn't have been honest. I shouldn't have been honest, yeah. Maybe my coworker uh, continue working with I and the other workers. Okay, good. <laughs> okay, very good, very good. Now we're going to use hypothetical situations. For example, Gabriela, uh, when we use, I'm sorry, class, can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. When you use a hypothetical situation, it's hypothetical. It probably never would have happened. And you say in past perfect. So if Gabriela had gone to Spain, Toma. She would have been a uh, Spain citizen in this moment. Correct? Maybe? Yeah, yeah, that's true. Or she would have been married to a, a European. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> okay, so Gabriela, can you give me a hypothetical situation of Evaristo's story? Remember the truck driver? Mm, maybe. So if he had. Let me remember. Truck driver, truck driver, Texas, he was offered his mm -hmm. company. Maybe somebody can help if, Gabriela. Okay, go ahead. If he had accepted that offer, good. May, maybe 
right now he will he, he will would be, be rich he will rich. be rich yes <laughs> or have a uh, <laughs> or have a, a <laughs> Sorry, Evaristo. Look, Evaristo's it's face. It's a hypothetical like... <laughs> situation. Yes, I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's okay. That's right. But remember, it's hypothetical. It's not... okay. Yes, it's not personal. <laughs> Imagine if Evaristo de Quitesa. Imagine if Gabriela had gone to Spain, she would have had her own store in Spain. Gabriela's boutique with the supermodels. If, if Gabriela have accepted, this is the same, the same verb, accepted the offer? She would be well, because she remember she said that her uncles are, are doing well. Yes. If, if Gabri Gabriela has accepted, had, had accepted, accepted. Yeah, had, had accepted the, um, the offer to go to Spain. Um, she could have uh, her own her business, you know? So yes. Her, yeah. her own business is true. Her business. Yeah. All right, good. That, that hurts me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Uh, what about me? Who who wants to hurt me? Moises. Okay. Uh, something like this. If you have accepted. If you have. If you. Uh huh. If you have accept, accepted. Uh, the Mariel uh, proposal uh, to the girl, you may be in this moment could be a, a manager of your wife. Yeah, or maybe I, I wouldn't work. <laughs> maybe like, like that. Oh, oh, depression. <laughs> Yes, because she is like the director of. She's you something. You're she's something. In eternal vacation. Yes, <laughs> you know because she's like I think the director of external relations from the government, yeah. and she's on TV and she has her business. I I would be like this in this moment, like. <laughs> <laughs> But I, I think that the uh, big vacation are, are boring in my case. I, I don't think that. <laughs> in my case, I have like four months of vacations every year. And oh, so yes. Some moments I don't know uh, what to do. That's true. That's true. Teacher. Yes. Bravo. Probably you wouldn't have to teach English right now. <laughs> no, you, you know what? Maybe I would always teach English because I have always liked to teach English. Maybe I would do it. Mm -hmm. Maybe like in in my private yet. No, in, in maybe from like a, my beach house, I would be teaching. <laughs> <laughs> what about Jose Mariano's story? Man, that was an interesting one. Jose Ramirez, can you tell me about Jose Mariano's story? Okay. I think if he had accepted the... Well, but rem the, remember, he didn't actually... Maybe if he had continued. Yes, if he had continued with the the, the soccer games, he could be an, a famous uh, player in, in this country and, and could be get uh, to 
to play in Spain, I think, and like the Gonzalez, the Mike Gonzalez. Yes, he uh, could have been the next Mexico. Yeah. Actually, <laughs> my, my dream was playing for the Juventus of Turin. Oh. If you maybe if you had continued, you would have gone one day to play or maybe against in contra, but maybe. Maybe. Oh, what a depressive class today. <laughs> now everybody's going to go to sleep thinking. Oh my God, what if? And can we have a story about Moises? Because he didn't really have something, uh, a big, big regret. What can we say about Moises? Hello. Keep working good. Yeah, just keep working. <laughs> <laughs> I think uh, he took uh, the opportunities that life uh, give, give him the correct opportunities. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> okay, class, thank you very much. Okay, we'll continue more of this hypothetical situations tomorrow, okay? You know, as, you, know, you know, as a teacher, one thing I regret I frequently hear is when students tell me, adults, yeah, adultos, working and graduated professionals, they always tell me, I don't know what I did in high school. I should have studied in my free time. I should have learned English in my free time. I always get that from students. <clears throat> Um, because, you know, Sam Mason teacher, I don't know, man. I don't know. In high school, I didn't work. All my, my responsibility was only to study. I should have studied English separately. I said, okay, but it's never too late. Yes, yes. All teacher, right. Uh, yes. A quote that says that life happens when it moves. La vida sucede cuando debe. Yes, that's uh, true. As you said, uh, uh, nunca es tarde. It's never too late, yes. And, you know, thinking positive, if I would have accepted to marry my ex-girlfriend, I wouldn't have my son. Yes. And that's, that's the most beautiful boy in the world for me. So, hey, Gabriela, if you... If you wouldn't have gone to Spain, you wouldn't have your own business, maybe. Yeah. Yes, but I think the mistakes are very necessary in our life you learn because from. it helped it helped us to become uh, better persons and don't make that mistakes again. Exactly. Very good, class. <laughs> okay, thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow. Okay. You see you tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. Bye -bye. Okay. Good night to everyone. Good night. Good night. Good night.